guys. If you want to learn how to make this outfit, stay tuned. I grew up as a real good girl, always home, don't go nowhere. As soon as I was introduced, the carnival, they say I lose. All down on the ground, walking, walking up my bottom, and it dragging, dragging all over tongue, and they say I lose. It was never a party at my school bazaar, I used to go. But since I was introduced, the back and now they say I lose. When I drop it hot and I whine it, I top the speaker box and I grind it. Hi guys, so I'm going to start off with my tacky glue. You basically just form a line to where you want the design to be and fill in the whole space. Pretty much rub it together, smooth it out as you put the glue on until everything is filled up. Now I'm going to take my cardboard and my first glitter color and I'm going to spread it all around the spots where the glue is and I'm going to fill it all up. Now I'm going to take my tacky glue again and I'm going to repeat the same steps on the other side. Now I'm going to move on to my next layer. Now I'm going to do the same thing that I did at the top, except for I'm going to stop in the middle. Do not bring it all the way down because remember guys, you have three colors, green, gold, and purple. So the second layer will be gold. By the way guys, I got this glitter for only 97 cent a piece from Walmart. You don't need any big tubes of glitter it's really not necessary unless you plan on using it for multiple other things and you already have glitter sitting at home but me personally i didn't need all that glitter especially for this project it's not really necessary now for the last layer you're going to do the same thing you did for the first two and repeat the same steps on both sides basically taking some random feather pieces that I cut off the boas and I'm just placing them anywhere now for this part you guys can basically do what you want I basically decorated the rest of this bra just off back of you know things I had on the table I had some rhinestones so I kind of put, you know, one on each side just to make the feathers look pretty. And sorry, y'all, my head kept getting in the way. But you can kind of still see what I'm doing here. <laughs> and I apologize for this long video. So I'm going to part you can skip through if you think you got it and you don't really need to watch this part. But for beginners... For anyone who literally want to learn how to do their bra, I advise you to keep watching. Now I'm going to take some jerry beads that I had got from Dollar Tree and just put them on the ends.
Now for this part, I'm going to take my wire. Basically, I'm forming some wings, I guess, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to straighten it out and kind of bend, bend it actually with my hands, you know. Then I'm going to cut it with my pliers. I didn't record me um, making those little square things that you guys see because like later on in the video, I didn't even end up using them. I end up making a back piece um, so that I can hook these uh, wings up to. I don't know if you guys want to really call them wings, but whatever you want to call them is fine with me. I just know, you know, of course, if they go on your back, they're wings. Anywho, I'm making two different sizes. As you guys can see, the top part will be longer, longer than the second part will be. And I'm basically doing the same steps, but going the opposite direction so that it'll look nice coming out of both different sizes, if it makes sense, you guys. Now I'm gonna take my boa. I got these from Dollar Tree for literally just $1 a piece. And I'm going to measure it and start hot gluing the wire so that I can glue the boa down on the wire. And this is how you're going to get your cute little feathers on your wings. Now, I'm basically going to do the same thing to all four pieces. Okay, guys, so what I'm doing here is I just took a random cardboard box. It doesn't have to be perfect and whatsoever. And I'm cutting out a shape for the back part, something to be able to stick your back to. Once I see that it measured out okay, I just randomly literally drew like a peanut. This is all free-handed. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're gonna cut it out. Cut everything out. Once you guys have that all cut out, you're gonna take a pen or something and you're gonna mark two holes at the top that you're gonna cut out. These holes are so that you can add a ribbon or anything that you have to put around your arms because when this is all over with, you're gonna need something to wrap your arms with. Now what I did was grab a poster board that I had got from Dollar Tree, really for like 49 cent. You can get one from anywhere. I'm gonna hot glue the back of the cardboard so that I can cover these ugly marks and you're gonna press it down onto the poster board. Now you're going to cut it out and just so you can have a pretty neat finish. And it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to take the feather boa and I'm going to cover the edges anyway. So once you have that cut out, you're going to do the same thing to the other side. When you're finished, make sure you take your scissors and you cut those holes back out. Don't forget about those holes because you're going to need them. And you don't want to accidentally glue over them and then you can't even poke holes in it anymore. Now, I'm going to take my feather boa and I'm just basically measuring around it to see, you know, how much I'll need. And I think it'll look pretty cute that way. You guys, I'm just doing anything just to cover up any raw edges or anything that just looks tacky. And you can do the same. You can do whatever you want. I'm just basically showing you how to decorate it.
So now I'm going to grab my ribbon and you can pick any kind, any color. I just chose this one because I thought it was really pretty. I'm going to take my safety pin so that I'll be able to get the ribbon through the hole. Just take a safety pin and hook it onto the ribbon. I'm about to show you here. And just hook it on in there, close it up, and it's going to be easy, really easy to stick it right through. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm basically putting it on my back so I can see how long to make the ribbon. And once you figure it out, then you just cut it, and then you're going to repeat the steps to the other side. Make sure that your ribbon is even, of course. You don't want any uneven ribbons. So right here, I'm taking all those little wire pieces I made Yes, I made some off camera that I didn't show you guys, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You do the same things you do, just different sizes. I added a couple big feathers and I'm just gluing them on, you know, gluing them all in place. You can glue them however you like. It really doesn't matter. Do what suits you best, what you think looks best for your project. So I went ahead and added more beads, rhinestones. I was just doing things and you can do things too. I just felt it was unnecessary to just literally show everything. The video itself is already long. I don't want to bore you guys, you know. But hey, this turned out pretty cute, you know. Now for the panties. I did literally the same exact thing I did for the bra. And this literally took under 10 minutes. I found some underwear that I thought was cute. I liked it, the little everyday scent, green lace on them. I had this piece from Dollar Tree as well. It had a little clip on the back. It was kind of tough to take off, so I decided to just keep it on and stick it through the lace. And bam, so freaking cute. This is the finishing look, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll be posting way more. Bye.